my pops is talking to my uncle down in the kitchen so if you hear any muffled noises that's what it is but I think you can hear me just fine now this all we're doing is connecting an existing wire cable to a new cable and we're running it further okay so it's very simple to do this black to black white to white and this is the old one you notice there's no ground wire coming in here they have this is an older house and they have the ground wire attached a different way to everything uh, this is my 12 2 Romex I'm gonna just take it with a sheetrock knife and score it gently keep your fingers out of the way I'm gonna pull off this outside depress your sheetrock knife when you're not using it I've got that out of my way and I'm just gonna kinda pull on this this is stretchy just pull on it tight use your sheetrock knife and reach back in the box and saw it off okay now there's a piece of paper around the bare copper wire I'm gonna pull that off sometimes you can you can jerk it off if you kinda of pull back and pull on that like that okay if not you can cut it off with your sheetrock knife and this has an existing or a new bare copper wire now I don't have any place to put that I'm gonna push it into the box and I'm gonna leave it for the next person I'm just gonna roll it up wrap it a little bit like that and shove it back there in the back of the box okay everything beyond that is gonna be grounded a different way and I'll explain that later but that ground wire we're just gonna leave it in the box because the existing cabling did not have it and the cable the, the the ground wire is connected directly to a metal box at the light switch okay okay now these wires here I'm just gonna cut the black one off and I know there's no power here and see the end of that is all wiggly squiggly if I had a pair of pliers which I think I do I carried a plastic bag up here this time I got all my stuff in it that way and this doesn't feel too good I think I'm just gonna cut that off start over I'll cut this one I like to keep those about the same length okay and then I can hold these and cut these off about the same length they don't have to be perfect I got about six inches coming out of the box and I'm gonna take my wire strippers strip this back enough to get a wire a wire nut on there and that was the existing wire so I'm just gonna take my pliers kind of make sure it's straight I'm gonna strip off all of these and that's some stout stuff from years ago they don't make make it that hard for the new ones like that I guess I'm gonna have to kind of jeez stuff like that twist on it a little bit come on wow I guess the very tip was curled curled just a hair I don't know how that happened okay now there's my new 12 gauge just gonna hold my hand back there and I can adjust it and that's all I want now with these I'm gonna go white to white and black to black okay so let's just do the white ones first get the black ones out of the way okay now the old wire just have to make sure it's white and you don't look at it wrong and do it by accident because there was some sheetrock mud on the black wire and you thought it was a white wire or something okay I'm gonna hold it up there now with two wires like that you can use just the yellow wire nuts and I went to the store you get a little bag like this you got I got red wire nuts yellows and some white ones and you know you can also go to the store 
You can get a little bag like this. Blue, orange, yellow, and red. This is, this is for more wires, less wires, and even less or smaller stranded wires, and even real tiny ones. You can get anything out the store.